Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of OEM TV. I'm Eric Mills with Microsoft. I do Windows Server Marketing. And in this video, you're going to learn a lot about Azure Active Directory, what it is, what problem it solves, and why you should use it. So everybody knows about Active Directory that's been on premises for quite a while. Uh, the problem with Active Directory on premises is it doesn't have a way to help you sign in to your cloud applications. So in walks Azure Active Directory, you can connect your on-premises Active Directory to your cloud Active Directory, and that gives you single sign-on to thousands of different uh, web applications just using your normal Active Directory credentials. So this is a no-brainer. People love this thing. Uh, in this video, Paul's going to take you through um, just what that looks like, what problem it solves, and really show you uh, how to set it up. He's also going to talk about Microsoft Cloud App Security, which is an add-on to Active Directory that gives you more visibility, uh, more control, and threat detection, which is always a good thing. So I hope you enjoy this video on Azure Active Directory. We'll see you next time on OEM TV. This is a quick overview of Windows Server 2016 Essentials and Azure Active Directory integration. First, let's start at a high level. So Windows Server 2016 Essentials helps organizations safeguard their business, improve IT efficiency and productivity, and also get ready for the cloud. So let's look at some of the ways they can do that. So for safeguard your business, easy permission settings with, with users and access and then just in time and just enough administration. And if you're familiar with that, it's uh, an example is, you know, a contractor comes in to work on your server and they're working on printer configuration. Well, you can set the level of administration they get and you can also specify the amount of time that they have that level of admin. And then there's Windows Defender for malware protection and then also this capability to do trusted or secure boot. And then for improve IT efficiency and productivity, there's a significantly enhanced management experience. There's built-in services like file shares, the web server, Active Directory, certificate services, local desktop backup, and really many more. And then there's the enhanced remote desktop services and also enhancements to PowerShell for better management and faster management. And then in terms of being ready for the cloud, this is one of the areas that's really significant. So there's easy Microsoft Cloud integration somewhat across the board here, where you've got Azure Active Directory, Azure Backup and Storage, uh, integrating with Azure Virtual Networks, Azure Site Recovery, Office 365, Intune, and then the remote management capabilities like Operations Management Suite and remote server management tools. And for this discussion, we're going to be talking about the integration with Azure Active Directory. As a starting point, you've got Active Directory on-premises, and users authenticate against the local Active Directory only. And then if you have cloud environments, remote users would, would use VPN to get access to Corp, and then from that VPN, they would then go and access the cloud properties. So in this case, there's no real single sign-on. There's no single point of control for IDs, user IDs and passwords, and the users themselves will manage the user ID and password combination for each one of those SaaS applications. So if we bring in Azure Active Directory, you still have all those cloud applications. You now have Azure Active Directory in the middle, and it will provide identity as a control plane for the administrators and for the end users. So if we look at that concept, we've got the on-premises environment with Windows Server Essential or other Windows servers with Active Directory, then Azure Active Directory, and then all the, the cloud properties that you want to have access to. So there's a simple connection between the Active Directory on-prem, and then there's single sign-on, and that's also an easy process to get to the cloud SaaS applications. And it's bidirectional and it's also self-service. So look at this in somewhat of a larger context. You have on the left the Windows Server Active Directory, which is then connected to Azure Active Directory, and all the end users and all the device types that are then accessing Azure Active Directory and using single sign-on to get to all of those other cloud applications and also get to the on-prem environment as well. Okay, so I'm ready to deploy single sign-on for some apps. How would you do that? 
First, you check if the app is in the Azure Active Directory Gallery. So there are thousands of pre-integrated apps and that number uh, is growing substantially. The end result is you're making the lives of users easier. So you have this integrated end user experience across devices. You can also brand Azure Active Directory. You can integrate with Office 365 application launching. You can manage the accounts, apps, and groups in that environment. You can also have that self-service password reset and also do application access requests as well. And here's some useful links on the App Gallery in Azure, the SaaS application list where we've got integration capabilities, and then SaaS application tutorials. Now, there's an additional add-on to Azure Active Directory, and it's called Microsoft Cloud App Security. And it's a fantastic add-on for organizations that really want to pursue tighter control of the overall SaaS application access environment. So what Microsoft Cloud App Security does, it provides visibility. So gain complete visibility and context for cloud usage and shadow IT. What does that mean? It basically means you can find out where people are going so that you can do something with those applications. And then control, you can shape your cloud environment with granular controls and policy setting for access, data sharing, and data loss prevention and then threat detection. Identify high-risk usage and security incidents, detect abnormal user behavior, and prevent threats. What all of this is saying is that if you're going to connect to a SaaS application, you want to have visibility of where people are connecting. You want to be able to control what they're sending out in, say, say emails or um, the, the types of documents they're sharing on Dropbox or in Salesforce or whatever, so that you can actually control what the user does in that environment, and then also determine what threats there might be. So again, it comes down to is someone attempting to log into, say, your Dropbox account or your Salesforce account? And if you don't have this type of tools, like how would you know that? So it provides a tremendous amount of information um, to, the, to the IT and also to the end user. So this concept of, of it being a complete framework to secure your cloud apps on top of Azure Active Directory. The first thing is cloud discovery. So discover all cloud usage in your organization. The way to do that is basically to import uh, router logs into the um, cloud app security environment and it will tell you where people are going. And then information protection where you can monitor and control your data in the cloud. That goes back to you know documents that people are putting in Dropbox, documents that people are you have the ability to protect that information wherever it resides. And then a threat detection, detect usage anomalies and security incidents, and then this in-session control, control and limit user access based on session context. So what if, and especially for this last one, this in-session control, what if you've identified that someone has, let's say they're connected to a Dropbox account, and normally they put two files a day in their Dropbox account, and all of a sudden they're doing 30? Well. Is that an anomaly? Is that a problem? So the ability to stop that session kind of mid-flight to determine what's going on is an actual benefit. So this ability to, you know, summarizing this to um, uh, discover where your people are going in the cloud, to protect the information when it's going there, to identify and protect against threats, and then also to have in-session control. This is a significant set of capabilities that are built on top of Azure Active Directory. If we look at these in terms of Windows Server 2016 Essentials, what this means is small and medium-sized businesses now have the ability to first do single sign-on into SaaS applications via Azure Active Directory, but then also through Cloud App Security, control those connections, report on them, do threat detection as well. And this is really good news for small businesses. They now have the ability to get the technology to protect their environment that the Fortune 500 companies have. No longer do they have to pay exorbitant fees to get the same types of features that are in a large organization. So in summary, Windows Server 2016 Essentials has built-in integration with Azure Active Directory. And that allows SMB customers to leverage the same cloud technologies as large businesses and it improves the security posture when integrating with SaaS applications. 
and other add-ons like Cloud App Security improve security posture even further with minimal effort. This really represents a significant set of capabilities for small businesses, so thank you for watching.